Welcome, Welcome back to CMS TV. We have a great show planned for you today. I'm Hannah. And I'm Tyler. And CMS TV starts now. Hey Coyotes, we went to interview Mr. Satilli about his design and modeling class. Hope you enjoy! So I think the best thing about teaching the design and modeling class has been the opportunity to use the design process to make a positive change in the world and it's really been inspiring to see what students can do um, when they're presented with some cool problems and cool opportunities. This is my third year teaching the design and modeling course so far and I started because I got an opportunity to go and see the class in action in other places in the community and I really like being a learner and learning new things. I've been fascinated with 3D technology and, and learning how to use new toys and uh, the design and modeling class offered that opportunity. So in design and modeling, one of the things that we try to focus on in each of our three units is how can we use the design process to make the world a better place. Um, in the very first unit, we learn about cerebral palsy and we start designing solutions for patients with cerebral palsy. Uh, we also get a chance to learn how to use the X-Carve machine to create some pretty cool posters about the design process um, that are carved in full relief in wood. Uh, in the second design challenge in the unit, we learn how to use waste material to create puzzle cubes that students then um, 3D draft and create, kind of like, uh, like these. It's a really cool team project and an opportunity to learn how to use our 3D printers um, and to work together. Uh, 3D printing is a, is a really powerful tool that can help change outcomes for people and solve some pretty unique problems. Um, some of the things that we've been doing is the 3D printing of the prosthetic limbs to help people that have upper limb differences. Um, but recently we also 3D printed snowflakes that we took to the senior center at Merrill Gardens and we hung up and decorated in their dining commons. Um, and we're also exploring other ways to develop assistive devices using our 3D printers here on campus to help people uh, that need a solution. Thank you for watching. Now back to the anchors. Wow, that was a great story. Make sure to check it out. Don't forget the Great Kindness Challenge is this week. Next we have an interview with SoCal Volleyball Club with Layla, Lacey, and Amanda. Serve it away! Hi Coyotes! Lacey and I went to SoCal Volleyball Club to interview one of the head coaches, Sherry Cluett, to see what they're all about. Hope you enjoy! Hi, my name is Sherry Cluett and I'm here at SoCal Volleyball Club and I wanted to go through all the different kinds of teams that we have here. If you are a top player, you can join our national team and that usually starts around December and we go all the way through July. Uh, finishing up at Junior Olympics and this year it will be in Indianapolis. We have regional teams that play all around LA and Phoenix and then we have our awesome local teams that we play here and you can join anytime and it goes now through Labor Day. SoCal Volleyball Club is located at 1482 La Merida Drive, San Marcos in California. Okay, so for national teams, most of their uh, SCVA tournaments are up in Anaheim, either at ASC or at the Anaheim Convention Center. And for the regional teams, they also go up there. And then for the local teams, we play at Epic, which is in Poway. Make sure to check them out and also make sure to check out their Peace Cafe. They have a lot of good things in there. Here at SoCal, it's awesome because our teams range anywhere from 8 years old all the way up to 18. And then if you're younger than that, we also have Future Stars, which you can start at any age and get started with your volleyball career. My very favorite part of coaching here is getting to meet all the awesome kids and getting the relationships and being here every Saturday with, with these awesome people. Thank you so much for watching, Coyotes. Be sure to go check out SoCal Volleyball Club sometime. Now back to the studio. Wow, that looks like a lot of fun. Tyler, we're rolling. 
next, we have a story on good air with Sean, Trevor, and me. Let's catch some air. Hey Coyotes, we went to Get Air Vista and interviewed an employee to see what it's all about. Get Air Vista, we have dodgeball, ninja boards, basketballs, and big foam pits for you to jump. So we are unique because we have more foam pits, we have a ninja course, and every Friday nights and Saturdays we do have a kids club with a live DJ from 8 to 12 a.m. I like working here at Gay or Vista because I love interacting with the children. So I've been working here at Gay or Vista for one year. So we are open Monday through Thursday from 10 to 10, Fridays and Saturdays we open from 10 to 12, and Sundays we are open from 10 to 9. Get Air Vista is located at 2755 Dos Aarons Way, Vista. Good week. Coyotes, bye. Wow, that was great. Next, we have a story about many Jack West workout schedule. Hey, Coyotes. Jason and I went out to interview Medi Jack Foy and see his workout schedule. Scoot skaters need to have really good triceps. That's this muscle right here. So, we do lots of push ups. I will demonstrate. Medi Jackable here, just trying to show you, you need to be able to climb things. It's just skewed skin, you need to be able to climb things. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you on this little ladder looking thing. But first, on a wet day like this, you need to have your hands dry. So I'll demonstrate how to do that. Betty Jackville here, just reminding you to get your good nutrition. Um, a great source of nutrition that you can find after rains is worms. You'll notice the birds go after worms just because they have brains, really nice brains. So I'll demonstrate that. You can see here we have a worm. Clean it off a bit, you don't want that mud disease. Nutrition. Medi Jack for here. Just remind you guys to get your sleep. Rest is key. Thanks for watching, Coyotes. Have a scootastic weekend. I should try that and then maybe I'll get buffed too. Next, we will send it to Jake's and Mr. Eckert talking about AirPods. We're here in the studio with Mr. Eckert asking the school rules at Calavera about AirPods. How we doing? Uh, so we've gotten some questions about AirPods here on campus and uh, AirPods uh, haven't really changed the game as far as headphones on campus. The, the bottom line is at school, unless you have a, a teacher permission within the classroom, uh, we're not going to be using cell phones from bell to bell and AirPods are essentially uh, Bluetooth through your cell phone. So I'd ask that you uh, not use your cell phone during school hours from bell to bell without teacher permission. All right, thank you. Back to the anchors. Make sure to follow those rules. Sadly, we've reached the end of the show. Have a good week, coyotes. Bye. Bye.